Initial thoughts, sir. Uh, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Five, w one word on my thoughts is expensive. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few weeks since my last upload and that's because I just got back from an epic trip to Dubai. And when you'll be seeing some great content from that trip in the next few weeks, watch to the end of this video for a preview of what we have coming. Trust me, it's definitely worth checking out. In this video, we have the last episode from our trip to Ohio to visit with the Triple F Collection. And if you watch them, you probably know what this video is about. And if you don't, make sure to head over to their channel and subscribe. Of course, it's Ferrari LaFerrari versus McLaren P1 drag race that ended what we thought was a major disaster, but what turned out to be not that bad as you'll see in this video. This is actually the first time I've had something break while racing McLaren, and I've been racing McLarens for over nine years, making hundreds of passes on my own 12C, 650S, 720S, 765LT, as well as many of my other friends' cars that I've raced, and they've been stocked to making over 1,100 horsepower while setting many records along the way. But sometimes things break and that's what just what happened to this incredible P1. And at the end of the day, you have to deal with the pressure of racing. And that's why I use the DriveMo Max X wireless portable tire inflator to get the tire pressures just right on my cars. The Max X tire inflator has a monster battery capacity of over 12,000 milliamps. It isn't equipped with a powerful 550 DC copper brush motor, which means it can inflate tires fast delivering up to 40 liters of airflow per minute, and it could do it over and over again without the need to plug it in. It can actually fill seven 205 55R16 tires without having to recharge. The huge and easy to use 7.4 inch touch display offers four preset modes, so you can easily set different PSI levels for different things, so a car, a motorcycle, a bicycle, or basketballs and so forth. You just use the plus and minus buttons right here to adjust the pressures, you hit the start button right here, and within a few minutes, the Max X will inflate the tire to the set pressure, and it will turn off automatically. The Max X can also be used as a power bank. There are USB ports down here, so you can charge USB devices such as phones, cameras, and other accessories over and over again. It also has an LED light under your top to assist you in dark situations and to keep you safe at night. Including with the Max X is a carrying case. It comes with a car charger to plug into your cigarette lighter. It comes with a USB cord or USB-C to plug into the wall or your adapter to charge the unit. And it also comes with um, some adapters to basketballs, volleyballs, and, uh, and so forth. If you want to pick up one of these, I'll put a link down in the description. You can grab yours today or send it as a gift to your favorite car enthusiast. Now onto the races. Ferrari LaFerrari versus McLaren P1. Thanks for watching. So it's gonna be in race mode too. When you turn it on, it's gonna ask you if you wanna stay in race or not. Okay. So you're gonna to wanna to take it out of it. Yeah. So press active. Okay. So it'll say press active to, to take it out, race okay. to keep in. Gotcha. So active will just get you back to standard. Perfect. Like nothing, and then you can, I think you know from there. Okay. Because it's in like that weird race mode too. Sure. take on Brooks. Brooks is in the P1. We're gonna start with just a quarter mile just from the dig. We'll see what I can do here.
too soon, Junior. Dude, I almost had you. You almost had me? Yeah, let me have one more chance at him. Yeah, yeah. Are you one more dig or no? Yeah? yeah. Okay. It happens. It's still running. It is still running. That's good. Where's the golf cart? It's not wrecked. That's always positive. Initial thoughts, sir. Uh, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Five, w one word on my thoughts is expensive. Who knows what? It's, I mean, that might be like fifty grand or so for a new transmission. I'm just. Happier. I mean, he's. I'm, 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 he's I'm just happier. I'm just happier with you. That's all. Now we can say Brooks broke RP1. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's our thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> can we get you in front of it going like... <laughs> Sometimes it happens just because. It's all coming out now. <laughs> it's all coming out. I actually had this problem. I just, want, I just wanted you to drag detail. race it so I could blame it on you. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So what exactly happened? Well, when the, on the second race of the P1, the car launched fine, there was no issues. And when shifting into second gear, something let go. And obviously you heard those loud crackling and very bad noises. After finally getting the P1 in for service to check it out, luckily it was not the transmission. It was simply a half shaft that had uh, broken away from the differential which is not in a cheap repair, but much cheaper than replacing the transmission, which would have cost about $100,000. So just being the half shaft being installed and repaired, the repair bill came in around $15,000. Abu Dhabi, Yas Marina, with DragTimes.com, Brooks is here all the way 
the USA covering this for the first time and you are all here as well to see the spectacle. Let's wait for the green light from the marshals. Here we go, here we go, and here we on. go. They're off. Tesla's ahead. 